What's up guys, Monster Dino Reviews. Today we have the Velociraptor. So if you'll see the recent video I did, I reviewed the Raptors Blue and I also reviewed the Atrociraptor. So I've got those next to me for comparison. So looking at the box art, it's pretty much your typical stuff. This Raptor does look pretty tall compared to the other one. So we'll find out in a second. Let's just get him open. Okay, there we go, he's out of the box. And just taking a look at the Raptor here, we've got some really nice red overall colours. It's basically a light cinnamon red on the bottom with a darker brownie red on the top that follows down the back with striping. And yeah, we've got pretty much all your standard articulation here, just the arms move up and down. In these smaller size figures, they don't have a lot of articulation. So that is one of the shortfalls of this price point of figures, but they're on the cheaper end. So I suppose you get what you pay for. So legs move up and down, tail twists. You've got one of these little scanner things on the back and the arms move up and down. Now the head actually moves up and down as well, which is a nice feature and means you can pose him in various different poses. Mouth also opens. Let's see if we can get some shots of the detail of the mouth here. So there we go. Yeah, you've got some red here with some like dark red at the back. Doesn't blend in too good, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. Um, now Looking at the face, we've got these yellow eyes with the stripes. Now, guys, I do actually have one of the older Raptors from the Kenner lines here, so we can compare it. And the colour scheme isn't too far removed from this Raptor either. So looking at the, the face of the two Raptors. And you can see that the old style Raptor is much bigger. But these ones are more in scale with the actual size of the Raptor, so... That's pretty good. Also, it has some really big feet, as you can see. For some reason, feet size with the tail, they extended it massively. I suppose that's to help the figures stand. But yeah, let's take a look at them next to each other. And that gives you a good perspective of the size of the figures. So here's one of the old Kenner line, uh, I think it's Robert Muldoon figures. And putting him behind, you can see that... The original Jurassic Park Raptors did stand around six foot. Uh, this one is a bit oversized, if I'm honest. In Jurassic World, they seem to have scaled them down a little bit. So they are now, you know, roughly up to just over someone's uh, waist or hip. And uh, yeah, I think that's much better because the original uh, Velociraptor that they discovered was only, you know, about three foot or something like that. So yeah, um, in terms of proportions and stuff, definitely do like it. It's, it's on the right sort of shape that the raptor should be um and yeah let's take a look next to some of the other raptors so here i have the atrosa raptor that i just recently reviewed and you can see that the atrosa raptor is actually quite a bit smaller to be honest with you i think blue ended up topping out a little bit shorter in length than the atrosa raptor so that's kind of the one we want to compare really isn't it so let's just do blue. But obviously blue has this tail kink, so that will change it a little bit. Now in terms of height, I'll just put both the heads up. They're on a different sculpt as well. I just want to point that out. So the this this raptor here has a bigger body, whereas blue is more a little bit more nimble. So in terms of height, they are actually roughly the same height. I think you can change that, so. Yeah, I think blue may be just a tad taller than this Raptor. But obviously you can change that by moving the head up and down. And in terms of length, I'm thinking blue is gonna fall short here. So yeah, this Raptor is quite a lot longer than blue, as you can see there. So that's interesting. As obviously, as I was saying, it's a different sculpt. Now next to the Trosser Raptor, which was, I think, just a little bit longer than blue. Yeah, in person, you can see it a lot more. 
yeah, it's a little bit longer than blue. Um, let's try that compared to the Raptor. So yeah, the uh, the new Velociraptor sculpt is actually the biggest of these minifigures, from what I can see. What about the Morris and Trepidus? Because this one is supposed to be the biggest of the three. And yeah, I think I think they're actually almost the same length, but the uh, Velociraptor's got a tail kink, so it would be longer. That's actually about right. In terms of height, uh, they're almost the same, actually. So yeah, it's not far out in terms of scale. Now, blue does seem to be a little bit smaller than this Raptor, so that's interesting. Now, a common problem with these smaller size figures, guys, is their feet are already, already pre-posed, so you can't really move this too much forwards without having it you know, go into a weird pose where it can't stand. It, it really does just have one set point, which is here, where it can stand up. I mean, I guess you can just move it around a little bit, but it's just... They're not posed in the best way, and that would have been handled by giving them some articulation in the feet and legs. Um, but yeah, obviously, as I was saying, you can't expect too much. A pretty nice figure overall, though, guys, and it does scale pretty nicely next to blue. Keep knocking everything over today. Um, yeah, so you can see that. Now, obviously, the uh, original Kenner Raptor, which is one of my favourites, is oversized. But yeah, it does even fit in with these scale size figures as well. It'd just be like sort of like an Alpha Raptor or something like that. And yeah, there's the normal human. Let's get them on the spinner and we'll compare them. So there's not much else to say. It's a nice mini figure overall. And one thing I will say, I do like them more than the Atrociraptor because that one is just posed downwards and you can't really do much else with it. So yeah, I, I do rate these Velociraptor mini figures. All right. And the final thing I want to do before we do that, guys, is just show you next to the Hammond Collection T-Rex. So here she is, the big girl. Just angle the camera upwards. And you can see they scale pretty nicely next to her. So that is about the size of the Raptors. You remember in the first Jurassic Park when they're clawing up the side of the T-Rex? So yeah, she scales in pretty nicely. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.